Hey guys, Morgan from DePaul's Hardware coming back to you with another Ego Repair video. This one will be a little bit of a shorter one, but we had a comment come in from Artisan54 who saw one of our other previous uh, Ego lawnmower videos. He said uh, that he has a similar issue with his LM2120 SP, that the self-propel is working but it's just slow and kind of stuck in that speed and he can't adjust it. So I actually happened to get in a 2120 SP uh, for a different issue, but let's take this one apart and we'll sh I'll show you what is most likely the single speed self-propel issue that he's having, as well as what's wrong with this particular unit. So let's go ahead and take off the cover to start. Take out the battery first, of course. <clears throat> Lift up the handles. Pull this guy right off. Now, this particular unit has no power at all. Uh, but let's not worry about that for the moment. Let's take a look at what the most common issue is for Artisan's self-propelled drive issue. Okay, so we are going to start by taking this off. Um, what I do highly, highly recommend is folding over the handle so that it rests on the body so that this just doesn't explode everywhere. Uh, we're going to start by taking out these four bolts here and then these smaller bolts in here. Keep two of the longer bolts, and I'll show you why, uh, because when you take everything off, the bottom cover can just fall right down. So we're going to reuse these. All right, once you take off the last bolt, just be very careful, kind of cradle it with your hand, make sure this is all the way down. Slowly take off the top piece here. All right, so now you can see the speed control board, which is almost guaranteed what Artisan's issue is. It's a little hard to test it, there's not a lot to test, but what we're going to do for now is we're going to push one bolt up and put the nut on to kind of hold this in place so it doesn't drop out on us. And then diagonally, I'm going to do the same thing here. Put a bolt in with one of the nuts just for safety so it doesn't drop out on us. All right, so this speed control board is what ties into the rotary switch. That controls the speed. So nine times out of 10, if you only get one speed, this is the issue. You just replace that. It's, it's pretty quick and easy, just a couple of connections, and it's a fairly inexpensive part. Uh, the only way that I have somewhat found of testing it <laughs> is uh, disconnecting this white wire here and doing some resistance testing on the switch just to see make sure that it's a good switch and then we can see if we get any anything on the board itself all right we have our multimeter here uh, i'm going to take the first pin and the second pin of this white connection that goes to the switch and i'm just going to test it just to make sure we get something uh, usually i see it around a little over 1 or 1.3 if you're running it on like a two th uh, 2k resistance so I'm at uh, 1.36 so the switch itself should be good if I'm not getting anything from the switch then you may want to replace the whole switch handle but I am getting something so 9 times out of 10 it's going to be this this guy right here that you need to change. Because if this goes bad, it may send enough power to go through with, an, uh, with a connection. 
to at least get a low speed or a high speed, whatever it failed in, but you won't be able to change speeds. If you do need this part for yourself, it should be, and you can look it up on the Ego website just to verify. I'll put a link to our Shopify account so that uh, you can purchase this one here from us if you need it. But since that doesn't seem to be the problem on this particular unit, I'm going to go ahead and put the cover back on here, and let's switch to looking at the main board. Okay, while we're here, let's take a look at the issue with this one. We'll get no power. So here is the main electrical assembly. I'm going to get my multimeter ready. First thing we're going to check is the fuse, which is this guy here. It is soldered on. Now, if this is blown, there's usually a good reason. So, you know, I used to try to change just the fuses and they would blow again. If you get an open reading, yeah, fuse is blown. So this is no good. So let's try to figure out why. Let's take out the motor connection and the main power connection and grab the parts that go to the electrical assembly. This and this. Switch to diode mode. Take the red probe, put it onto the black lead. Take the black probe and test each one of these three connections. That one's point two. That's zero. And this one we're getting point six. We have two that's way too low and one that's way too high. Your number should be between 0.45 volts and 0.55 volts. So this guy is bad. We need to get it replaced. So here's the part number if you need one for yourself. 283-107-6001. I'll put another link in the description to our Shopify in case you need one of these for yourself. All right, let's remove the old, put in the new. Out with the old, in with the new. Remember guys, cable management is important. Let's test it out. One final test so that you can hear what the self-propel should sound like. Low, medium, and high. Last but not least, don't forget to button things up. Then you can call it a day. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, subscribe. Let me know if you have an ego that needs some repair and you just need some help. Maybe I can make a video for you. For now, your captain signing out. Let's get this one back to this customer and move on to the next one.